Uh oh. Crash number one. That didn't work. Uh oh. That's not good. We're flying, biting you while I'm trying to try. Whoa, what is this? Look at that view. Jesse Warden. What's up, y'all? Jesse Warden here. We're going to Peters Mill and Tusker's Gap ATV trail. First two miles is nothing. <laughs> Rock trail. It's fixing to be 90 today. It's 75 right now. We're gonna do some off road, baby. So last time I came here, this trail destroyed me. I made it about two miles. I believe it's 19 miles, both across the mountain and then another 19 back. There's a campsite. And so we start, I believe here, and you can go all the way across and there's a campsite over here, the little four campground. I made it about, I think up here, the rock garden was just super challenging. So I'm excited because I have these. Shinko Adventure Trails. Bah. They're massively confidence inspiring. And I don't have my side cases today. So a lot more, a lot less weight. <laughs> more centered. I have a lot of weight back here with water and stuff. I'm excited, man. Let's do it. I'm a little spoiled today. It's kind of dry looking. I don't think the uh, camera's gonna give it justice how <clears throat> rutted this is and how steep it is. Yeah, the peg position is perfect, man. My arms are straight down for the most part. And I can just stand on the pegs and pick my line. Yeah, so that, that mud got me last time bad. Oh, hit the bottom. Well, this place had a lot more campsites too. So we're in a national forest. You can pretty much, you know, camp anywhere you want. Whoa, that's technical. But I don't know if it closes at night like the other ATV trails do, so. Man, these ruts are about a foot deep. This is a lot more rutted out than I remember from, I think maybe two years ago. Whoops, put my kickstand down. That's not gonna, it's not gonna get you across the puddle, buddy. Let's try that again. Look, my heater's already on, my heat fan. Yeah, I know, this is some work for you, baby. You had to drive two and a half hours just to get here. She's awesome. Let's go. Serious climb, let's do it. Stay away from the rut, buddy. You can do it. Right, I can't go too fast on these rocks. It's because, again, my bike's lower. So I only have about six to eight inches of clearance now. Where normally you have, I don't know, eight to 12, something like that. Man, I'm already tired. <laughs> Super out of shape. Yeah, so this is, I remember when I got to this point, I was super happy because I was like, oh, I made it really far. And then I realized that it only gone like, 100 or 500 yards but definitely good picture opportunity precarious position so yeah we're about five milliseconds up the mountain <laughs> really far to go so basically that these rocks is the rock garden a lot of people are just like wow and so this kind of prevents a lot of the cars from getting there but let me give you a, an idea of what we're dealing with here. So my boot's about, say, a foot and a half. And so if I put that here, you can see it goes about right there. So this rut here goes about there. So I mean, the steepness, right, the steepness of it, it just goes all the way, <laughs> all the way up. Yeah, it is it's hardcore. But I just went to the right with my zero. I might do the same thing with the versus, but we'll see. I'm feeling overconfident today. Man, it's hard to pick a line here. Yeah, let's go left. Uh-oh. Losing traction.
Yeah, I'm gonna have to get some speed if I want to do this. Uh oh. All right. Crash number one. One, three, one, two, three. <clears throat> okay. That didn't work. Okay. I'm gonna breathe. That was really good start. I get stuck on the hill. I got stuck on two rocks and there was a dip. So my foot, I couldn't get the bike <laughs> any higher than this. I had to put it in neutral so she would aggressively roll down the hill. And then I dropped it the other way. <laughs> but at least it's flat at that point. I'm not gonna lie, this is kind of dissuaded me from taking the moderately challenging run on the back. <laughs> I'm so confident, baby. I'm just out of shape and out of breath. But my attitude's 80% there. All right, if Sergeant Rieger can survive boot camp, and what is he, 49, second time around, then Jesse Warden can go up a couple of rocks on a adventure bike. Let's do this. My plan is to go right that there. It's a big bumpy, but if I can make it to that lip where the wet is and plow over there, I'm good. The challenge is that it's really steep right there. I might bottom out, but if I get him with momentum, I can just, you know, hit first gear right up that hill. Let's give it a try. Besides, I need to throttle control practice. Okay, let's visualize this in my head real quick. All right, here we go. That is what I'm talking about. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. That one's for you, Sergeant Rieger. That's right. Serving our country twice. Love it. Don't worry, training West Goff. I'll get to you. I hope I'm saying your last name right. God, I love this bike. Jeez. Let's uh, enjoy some shade, shall we? I want to show y'all something. So I installed these Bark Busters. You can see. You've already done a great job. I installed these myself and I'm still kind of adjusting them up or down, but they are doing what I want them to do and that's protect my lever so I don't get stuck out here from bad crashes like that. <laughs> so the T-Rex racing heavy duty skid plate blocks the you know exhaust, which just happens to be on the bottom. Crash bars, I've seen a lot of use from Sydney and I. I think I've dropped her more than my daughter has now. She's got to beat me by one now. I'm not saying it's a contest. All right, that dirt bike guy made it look easy. I don't know if it's that easy. Oh, gee. Yeah. Whew. That could have been bad. <laughs> Maybe the Jeep could have uh, used his winch to pull my bike out. <laughs> What about you, sir? Nah, just, just leave me in the woods. I'll just, I'm too tired, I'll just die here. At least I'm in the shade, not for long. Uh-oh, that's not good. There we go, unstuck. Starting to get the impression these tires like Dirt and gravel. I don't. I don't know about these rocks. Especially the large pebbles. I seem to constantly lose traction on them. What a workout, man! What a workout. Oh, that's gonna be bad. All right, nice and slow, nice and slow. Don't hurt your bike. There we go. Throttle control. 
Nice. In the middle. Watch the logs. Stand up. Huh. Okay, this one's gonna be interesting. Let's try left and then right. If we go right, we risk hitting that little rut there. I do not want to fall in that. So let's just do the harder left and then, well, I don't know. Let's try it. It could work, it could work. Oh, you just get your, your leg get ripped by briars and then go left. Yeah, there we go. And then throttle control, throttle control, and brake, buddy. Come on. Not too much, not too much. There we go. Don't forget you have a brake, homie. <laughs> I'm starting to think this is a one-way trip, man. Like, basically I just go to the other side and just call it a day. All right, let's, let's go left. Uh-oh. <laughs> All right, that might be fun, but you should still start just in case you need throttle. <laughs> okay, here we go. <laughs> Use engine braking. There you go. We gotta see about fixing our mirror to get to the bottom. The same we make it, but that's cool, man. If that was a split, that means, ow, jeez. Whoa. Any leg brakes are terrifying. Give it some throttle. Give it some throttle. All right, we're using rear brake on a lot of this. Let's take a hard left, ready? Good job, good job, you're doing great, man. Keep it up, keep it up. I'm like heat exhaustion, I'm not careful. Hey, Jeep. Get out of his way. Okay, how do we get down from here? <laughs> I got up here. How do we get down? Ugh. There we go. Duck walk. You got this. Ugh. Careful. Okay, not bad, not bad. All right, that's a problem. Can't have that, because that'll screw my turns up. I think he wants me to go. Thank you, brother. Okay. We should probably see about fixing our mirror right there because if that blocks this again and I can't turn that could that could end badly see my worry is that when she hits here and gets stuck and I can't turn it's like a hard left or right and a little in and then see if we can't lock it in place so let's turn this here let's rotate it a bit how about here okay lock it there. That'll give me some room at least. Okay. Don't strip the bolt, but that, yeah, that should, that should work. Hydrate. I think this is about where I turned around last time. <laughs> I'm probably stupid, but I'm gonna keep going, man. So I took a break to wedge my mirror a little back. I wasn't thinking clearly, but I, you know, I put off to one of those side things right, like right over there where they, you know, the cars can get out of the way of other people. I used all my energy getting the bike back. All I had to do was go three feet backwards, but I need two extra brakes just because of that. It's work, man, especially this heat, you know? Gotta be careful. I don't want to get heat exhaustion. Once I start getting the goosebumps, I think it's just dry today and kind of partly cloudy. You know, this is cooling you down, the sweat, but once it gets in the 90s near that heat index and, you know, there's no room in the air for moisture, your sweat doesn't cool you down. Gotta be careful. Hydration is not gonna solve it. Just need to stay in the shade, take breaks. Ooh, keep going though, man, keep going. That is an interesting line. Jeez. Big rock. Lots of big rocks. 
It's scary rocks. Ugh. These tires are actually pretty good in sand, man. At least I don't feel it, you know? Horse fly bite me while I'm trying to drive. Expert mode, challenge unlocked. Oh god, it keeps biting me. Ow! Ow! Can't use my left hand. Gotta defend myself. Ow! Oh, maybe that was a wasp. <laughs> it hurts more than a horse fly. Oh, there he is. Maybe if I go faster, he won't be able to catch up. Ugh. What do you think? Come on, Bert. Gotta get away from the horse fly. Or the wasp, or whatever it is. You want motivation? There it is. Whoa. God, he keeps fighting me, dude. He went down this time. Ugh. This is embarrassing. I might have to stop. Battle him one on one. Instead of one hand tied in front of my back. On the clutch. Or throttle. Whatever. You know what I mean. Don't you do it. I can feel you. Look, man, I'm just trying to have fun. I'm not a masochist. All right, that's it. I'm done. Second gear. One piece style, baby. I have the need for speed. Because I'm tired of getting bit. Let's go. I still get engine braking. That's nice. Yeah, the, the thing about this bike, I don't know if they changed the sprocket or what, but second gear has got a, a wide range, man. Like, you could start from a stop in second gear if you wanted to, but I don't know. The bike always sounds weird when I do that, so I don't like doing it on purpose. Whoa, what is this? What is this? Oh, it's like where monsters are. No, it's where frogs are. <laughs> they sound so funny, dude. So I was kind of kidding about Frog Pond, but check this out. Those are all tadpoles, dude. Some of them are already getting legs. Wow. Dude, that guy was going like super fast. Awesome. I, think, I just saw that guy, so I wonder if he, or he already hit the other side probably. Going at that speed. That bolsters my confidence. New milestone. Never hit the rock pond before. Let's keep going. 88 degrees, gee whiz. Toyota baby. All right, right in the middle. Oh, hit the skid plate, I hope. All right, man, that water was stinking. Hope it was the water, not me. Pack dirt, pack dirt. Bits of clay, pack dirt. All right, let's go to the right after this. There we go. Mud, baby. Oh, wow. Okay. Hey, a fire pit. Nice. I don't know if there's a hammock spot. It might be back there. You never know. We'll check next time. Give me an excuse to come back. Yeah, let's go left. Those rocks are scary. Big puddle. Oh, boy. Okay, crisis averted. <laughs> These rocks are so scary. One wrong turn and you're just like stuck with your back wheel and no traction. Big pedal. All right. Yeah, I got my dirt bike boots on today, baby. None of that wet sock nonsense. Oh yeah. Pretty sure they're waterproof. I'm thinking in the rain a lot. And they're getting doused today. Oh, whoa, that was deep. Woo, that was fun. 
and scary. Yeah, see this side is a lot more beginner friendly, man. Like, I mean, you, you could get in trouble, sure, but like, you only have to pick a line for about like 15 feet and you're good. You know, it's not too steep back here. Little puddles. This is a great beginner area. That other side is just awful. Ooh. Thank you, brother, you rock. What a nice guy. A lot of Jeeps today, man. Uh-oh, that looks kind of wet. Let's see what happens. No, but it's got some rocks in it, we're good. At least in backpacking, if they're coming uphill, they have to right away, but all these Jeeps have been really nice to me, giving me the right away. Okay, this is a little dangerous. Okay, not too bad, not too bad. Good left. Okay. It's past the worst of it. Yeah, man. If you're in, even if you're not in shape, standing up is so much easier, especially on this bike. I don't know if they raised the handlebars. I think they did about an inch or so, maybe two inches. I'm not saying I'm a T-Rex, but... And I don't mean the brand, I mean like the dinosaur. But yeah, like I can I can reach them. This is me leaning back right now, right? If I'm standing forward, this is me standing forward. And like I, I got a good bend in my elbows, decent bend in my knees, but I can grip the tank or the seat if I want. Pretty good comfortable position. On this Kawasaki versus X300. I met a guy at the sheets. And he had a BMW Motard shirt on, but he said he had <laughs> he had a Ninja 250. And I said, oh, dude, because I, you know, I was telling him how this has a Ninja 300 engine in it. And he's like, yeah, man, I ride that everywhere. It's the best commuter bike ever. I ride it more than a BMW. I was like, hell yeah, I don't sell it, buddy. He's like, never. That's what's so cool about, you know, motorcycles, if, if you're an extrovert, you just get to meet all these people you normally might not, you know, have an interaction with and it's just, they seek you out, you know? Which is great. Because I'm an extrovert, but I'm shy, so I always have problems starting the combo. But if we talk, I won't shut up. So it's such a great social connection, you know? Because like a lot of times backpacking, for example, like people go out there to be alone or be with their friends, you know? If they see you with a backpack, they might, you know, chit chat, but they're gonna leave you alone. I've only had like one guy on the trail talk to me for, you know, a good 20 minutes. Every time I stop at the gas station, man, I always get somebody who's a biker. Oh, my throttle hand is dying. Whoa. <laughs> I know it hurts, buddy, but you, you gotta power through. You can't crash into a tree. Oh, wait, what? What does that say? Parking campground. Really? Really? I want to see the campground, yo. Can I turn around without crashing? Look behind you. Okay, there's only one small, like big rock. You're okay. Come on, come on, you can do it. All right, fine, let's turn around. Or you can stall. Come on, sport back. Sport back engine. Turn around. <laughs> Ain't for effort. Ain't for effort, little buddy. There you go, power through. Okay, campground, here we come. Dude, nice, look at these. Wow. Ugh. Yeah, this is kind of cool, but it looks like mainly just a tent site. Let's see, where am I? You are here, where does it say that? Oh, right there, on the top, okay. That has a couple trees, you know what I'm saying? kind of cool. Let's do the loop. Ooh, a privy. Nice. Okay. That one's not bad. That one's kind of cool. That one's deep. Uh, if there's any trees there I could use. That's okay. Right next to... Which one's this? I don't know what number this is. It's got two sites though. 14 day camping on it? Alright. Alright, where the heck am I? I have no idea where I am. Oh, this is a forest road. So 
is elevation 2,000 feet. And I gotta walk in my motorcycle dirt bike boots. Let's do it. How far is it? Yeah, it's only like 400 feet, man. I can totally do this. And by totally, I mean, dude, I should have changed shoes. Picking the line's a lot easier with your feet, you know what I'm saying? All right, wait, which, I don't understand, which way do I go? I'm gonna go left. Usually the high road is a good road, but, oh wait, nope, it's taking me off. Let's go, let's take the high road. I have a feeling we're climbing a mountain. <laughs> So, and also those were pink. So I guess we gotta follow the pink blazes. Oh good. More hills full of rocks. Yeah, I'm not, not sure if I get the verses back here. Whoa, there it is. Well, let's give it a shot. Yeah, okay. Not bad. Nothing like more stairs and at least I don't have to carry my verses up this. That's good. Holy crap. Look at that view. Wow, dude, look over there. You can see the river. All right, let's keep going. Wow. Okay. That's totally worth it. Wow. You can see like all the things. That's really pretty, dude. Here's no Tusker's Gap. I finally beat it, man. I'm really happy. I'm glad I did it, but I'm not, I'm not making a return trip. I'm gonna go home from here. I started from the southwest end and went to the northeast end. Really fun. I definitely recommend it if, if you wanna avoid that to start from the northeast end then you don't have to do the bad parts just go into it and then you know turn around at the big at the frog pond last time i was there some dirt bikers were actually going south west of of that parking area so there's i think there's some more challenging parts if you're interested down there too so definitely check it out again i'm jesse warden that was peter's mill tusker's gap atv trail on my kawasaki versus sex 300 i enjoyed myself learned a lot still need to practice you know my first skill first gear clutch but it was fun man definitely recommend it and got to see woodstock woodstock tower at least i can see the campsite am i going the right way yeah i am now i know of a good campsite i know of a good tower to take my kids to so i'll see you in the next one